One of the most effective questions anyone anywhere can answer is this question. What will I finish today? Or what will I finish this week? Or what will I finish this season or this month or this year? See, finishing relates to productivity. And we've been discussing in this podcast this message of productivity on and off. And it is important for us to continue knowing what it is that is going to make us to be a productive nation, a productive people, because I believe that we were born to be productive. We were born to produce things, to create things, to make an impact, to create an influence. And so today we're going to look at one of the benefits of getting some kind of rest, recuperation, so that you can be productive in life. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In talking about fulfillment, we've seen that you cannot be fulfilled by remote control or by Bluetooth. You have to apply yourself to be productive so that fulfillment comes. In fact, people are all over the world looking for fulfillment in very many things. We say that uh, people are looking for fulfillment through accumulation of things, through people bestowing titles upon them, honorary this and honorary that, and, and they think that it is fulfilling. And for a fleeting moment, it feels good until the emptiness comes back. But the real fulfillment, ladies and gentlemen, normally comes from work. It normally comes from productivity. Because the reason as to why you are existing is none other than to be productive. This world is not something that you're supposed to get things from. This world is something that you're supposed to do things and create things and make things happen. We are indebted to the world and not the other way around. We don't exist so that we can get paid, so that we can you know, receive benefits from the world. We exist so that we can make changes, we can create stuff, we can do things, we can follow our purpose. And that's why each and every one of us has a different, unique set of talents, set of giftings. For what purpose? So that we can be productive. And through productivity, then we get the benefits that we're looking for people have this thing you know the other way it's like putting the heart the cut before the horse people looking for benefits before they can become productive productivity comes first and then the benefits come later but you know what in the process of being productive something normally happens because you are not made of steel you're not made of asbestos you're not made of imperishable material you are flesh and your blood and as you apply yourself as you become productive either you're chasing for this or you're chasing for that chances are that the body wastes away there is this wear and tear and that's just the natural way of life there is nothing in life that doesn't have wear and tear the other day my vehicle nearly got an engine knock and the same thing with human beings and you know what every time a gadget gets off track every time a technological gadget is down we find everything possible to be able to replace it and to be able to maintain it and to be able to repair it and so on and so forth if we could just put the same premium the same kind of emphasis on our own bodies on our own selves it will be much more beneficial because like we've said 
you and I are the most critical aspects of productivity. You remove me from the productivity equation, you forget about the productivity, you forget about the brand, you forget about everything else. Everything rises and falls on the human. The human is the nucleus of productivity. And that's why we've said that it is important for you and I to take some time and to rest. And we've looked at some of the benefits of resting so that we can recuperate, we can recharge ourselves, so that we can go back strong refresher, more vibrant, more creative, raring to go with some spirit of urgency. And we saw that the first benefit you get from resting is that you save money. I don't want to belabor that one. And the second benefit that you can get is that you maximize your time and you get this spirit of urgency. And then we talked about your brains yesterday. Central to productivity is the brain. And it's not necessarily this scientific thing and this uh, intellectual thing. It is the brain for every productive person in every niche, not just academia and intellect. The brain is central to it. And the more the brain rests, the more you are vibrant, the more you are creative. And the only way you're going to do this is when you take some time off from the continuous application of the body, the mind, the spirit into a particular task. And you remove the toxicity that comes from the stress, that comes from the work. Every time you're working, there's some toxicity that comes in because the body is not resting. But when you take some time and you go away and you rest, and there are different ways that you can be able to do this, which we'll look at in the podcast in the days to come. Different ways that you can accrue some much-needed rest, some much-needed recuperation, even in the day, even in a minute, even in within a day, you can be able to do very many things that will recharge your body. You'll be amazed. And I keep going back to this aspect of power nap. And I'm seeing it all over the place. Did you know that a power nap, I've said it again, did you know that a power nap can save you if you just did a 15-minute power nap in the day? You can regain two hours of productivity in that particular day. But if you just forego those 15 minutes, you can lose two days of productivity. It is that important. So it is important for us to have this mentality that we are critical to the aspect of productivity and we need to take some time and take care of the body, take care of ourselves, take care of our spirits, take care of our mind, take care of our imagination, take care of everything around the body, even relationships, so that we can become productive. Today, we're going to look at one more way in which Resting gives you a benefit so that you can become a productive person. And I've already been talking about it. It's simply this. That rest gives you recovery of body systems and functions. This is as obvious as anything. See, if you are someone who is having projects to run, things to do, and they're piling, your entry is so piling. The thing that you can bet on so that you can have some level of productivity is good health. But you know what? When you see your entry is piling into a mountain, one of the things that you normally do is that you cut off the amount of rest that you need to take. And so you want to tackle the mountain of the entry until it is finished at the detriment of your health. So that you can have some freedom to rest and so on and so forth. What you're doing, basically, you are piling up a lot of stress onto the body, onto the mind. You're piling up a lot of stress onto your physical body, onto your blood circulation and so on. Because you're seated in one place, you're not doing exercises and so on and so forth. Until that mountain is finished. That is detrimental. Do you know it's counterintuitive to do that, to, to approach it that way? What you could do is basically to trust yourself to get some time and recharge and recuperate and then tackle the mountain. You can give yourself legitimately, let's say, 30 minutes of just resting, recuperation, and you train yourself. We need to learn, like I said in the previous episodes, we will need to learn to rest. I will need to start podcasts and I'll need to start seminars on resting. People do not know how to rest. People do know the benefits of resting and so on. But people do not know the scientific ways of resting so that you can get recharged in the mind, get recharged in the body, get recharged in the spirit, get recharged everywhere in your creativity. 
body functions the body itself it gets recharged it, it gets recharged every time you are resting and gives you a boost of energy so that when you're coming back like i said earlier on you are betting on good health strong health so that you can be able to tackle your mountain that doesn't come when you keep working and you keep working because what is motivating you is the mountain in front of you what is motivating you should not be the mountain in front of you it should be the state of your body one of the top leadership qualities is calm under the eye of the storm and i'm using that as an analogy calmness is a great thing it means you are relaxed it means you are sure it means that you are okay with whatever is happening because you are reassured in your mind that you are up to task you cannot be in that state of calm relaxation and assurance when your body systems are disintegrating because of lack of rest and because of stress and by the way let me just tell you this we make lousy decisions especially concerning the future concerning our prospects concerning our success in life we make lousy decisions about that when things are not okay when our physical body is not okay and when we are under stress we kind of tend to make those informed ill informed decisions because the body is suffering the mind is suffering and you're not relaxed you need to be relaxed you need to be someone who is calm someone who is refreshed and ready to go this is a well rested human being when you have that person completing a task or doing a task or tackling a task compared to a guy who is hot on stress who is blood pressure is up and the mind are not thinking i remember there's a day there's a season in my life when i was working in a highly stressful environment there would be many things to do in one single minute at times you'll dash out of the office you're going somewhere and then halfway through you don't know where you are going in the first place is because of stress is because of lack of planning and lack of organization and so on lack of taking some time to recuperate we need to learn to rest and this rest it relieves reenergizes renews gives us a boost of energy that is just something that we need at all times and by the way we need to listen to the body itself because it normally communicates when you are stressed you will know when the body comes to its limit you will know it doesn't mean that you should stop everything that you're doing it just means you should take a break i've suffered very many times when the body communicated to me that hey listen we're getting to a limit you've sat for 8 hours straight you know i need to take that hint and stop doing what i'm doing and honor the body sometimes we need to obey the body and i know uh, the scripture says you i put my body under i subject my body i'm i make the body my slave i die to myself that concept is very powerful for a visionary who is going against the grain of laziness the grain of comfort the grain of coziness the grain of average you challenge your body that way but when you're challenging your body that way as a visionary there's a point which i am allowing you to do to listen to your body when it communicates back because the body is going to give you feedback you're going to stretch the body and it's going to give you feedback you hear the back aches when you start hearing those back aches do something about them go to youtube get some time and download these free videos that show you how you can stretch your back and and so on so that you can deal with that part of the body did you know that one part of the body suffering eventually affects other parts of the body just like any entity on the face of the earth because the secret of things existing on earth is parts there is no whole the earth is not a whole it is a part it is made up of parts there is the heavens there is the earth there is continents there is waters there is the air there is the land it's made up of, up of parts the universe is made out of parts yourself you also made out, out of parts your car is made out of parts one part suffers it starts putting pressure on the others 
And that's the same thing with productivity. Any part of your body giving you feedback. And I'm speaking to people who have already put their body under. I'm speaking to people who have already you know, decided that I'm not going to be average. I'm going to be waking up at this hour. I'm going to be doing this, this, and this. When you are deep in the middle of pursuing your purpose and pursuing the things that you're supposed to do and being productive, the body is going to communicate back to you. It is an opportunity for you to take some time and recover and re-energize because when you do that, the body systems and the body functions will be relaxed, they will be refreshed, they will be raring to go. You give you a new boost of energy so that you can go back and continue being productive in what you're supposed to do. So the benefit, the biggest benefit of resting and recuperation is that you refresh your body, you refresh your mind, you refresh your spirit, you give in a new energy, a new boost of energy that you much need. Because let me tell you something, we will always be in need of being productive. I mean, you, cannot, you can never come to that level where you say, uh, there's no work to do, there's no more work to do. That level is for the dead. As long as you're existing, good, better, best, do not let it rest until the good is better and the better is best. We can always be better. We can always be good. We can always improve. We can always start something new. We can always elevate ourselves. That's why we need to renew our energies, revive our bodies, and continue doing what we're supposed to do in becoming productive. Until tomorrow, think about that. Listen to your body when it communicates. Bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor, Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University, found at mastermindmentor.com, who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.